Hey, how's it going? It's Adam Bookbinder, and I hope you are doing well. And of course, during these times, it's all about comfort food. I mean, we're staying home, we wanna be happy. So, one of my favorite comfort foods is matzo ball soup. So I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch. So for the soup, you wanna use some type of giant stock pot to put everything in. And first, I have some chicken in the bottom of the pot. So you want to, you can use any type of chicken. Now dark meat actually adds more flavor. So I tend to do that. So you can use legs or thighs. You can use a whole cut up eight piece chicken, or you can use white meat. Uh, you can use whatever really you want to, but again, dark meat is really what adds more flavor to the soup. Next, just add some water to the pot, about like three quarters full or so, because you want to have room when you put in all the vegetables and herbs. Now that we have the water in the pot covering the chicken, we want to turn on the fire or the heat to high and just let it sit there and come to a boil. So now that the soup is boiling, we're gonna turn it down a little bit so it doesn't go all over the place. And we wanna get a bowl and this stuff that forms on the top, you wanna get rid of it because there is no need for it. It's like, I don't know what they call it. Some people call it scum, I don't know. But I think it's from the fat of the chicken. So it's better off just to, just to get rid of it. So now that that is done, right there, we wanna put it in our veggies. So I cut everything up actually yesterday and I have one large onion, three pieces of celery, four pieces of carrots, peeled and chopped also, one parsnip and one turnip as well. So we're gonna put all of this into the soup. Try not to make a giant mess, of course. Which never seems to go well. So we're just gonna pour these in, pour the whole thing in. There we go. All right, so now all that is in the pot. Now next what we want to do is we want to put in some bouillon, chicken bouillon cubes, and I put about three of them in or so. So I'm just gonna just crumple that up and put that in. Just adds a little bit more delicious chicken flavor to the soup. Now we're gonna add the third one. Add that to the soup. Give it a nice stir. Then of course you're gonna to wanna to season it as well. Now a lot of bouillons or chicken flavorings actually have um, a lot of sodium. So you might wanna watch how much salt you put in. So flavor, if you know, put in salt, pepper, whatever you like, adjust for your taste. And then we have some chopped up parsley and a whole bunch of fresh chopped up dill. I'm gonna throw that in the pot. Give it a nice stir. It smells good already. Turn the heat up. And wait for it to come back to a boil. And then once it does, turn it down, let it simmer for about three or four hours. And you can stir it every once in a while. Taste it once it gets cooking to see how much salt or pepper you may need. All right, so now that the soup is cooking for a couple hours on the stove, it is now time to make the matzo balls. So the main ingredient of matzo balls is matzo meal. And so, actually this is my favorite brand, Stripes. And on the back is the recipe. Really, really easy. Again, matzo meal. So we're gonna combine all the ingredients basically and mix it.
one of the secrets to matzo balls, or really good matzo balls, now the recipe calls for water, but instead use seltzer because that makes all the difference in the world. All right, so once it's combined, what you wanna do is you wanna put it in the refrigerator for about half an hour to an hour so it can firm up a little bit so it's easier to uh, make the balls. It has been a few hours, the soup is all ready, and I brought it back up to a boil because now we're gonna add our matzo balls. So the mixture has sat in the refrigerator for about an hour. So then just like making meatballs, you just wanna Take some, form it, and drop it in. Now, one suggestion is, now it's gonna be sticky, so what you should do is just make sure your hands are wet and keep putting them under some cold water, and then that'll help. All right, now that they're all in there, just let them cook for about 15 minutes and that'll be it. Okay, so after I dropped the matzo balls in the pot of the soup when it was boiling, I reduced the heat and I covered it. It's been about eh, 20, 25 minutes and this is what you get. Look at that. Now that is matzo ball soup and that is comfort food right there. All that's left is to eat. Go Country 105. Go Country 105.